Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So today I want to do a little comparison uh, between this Lexar UHS-2 cards. Let me see if I can get that in focus there. Uh, maybe. There we go. Yeah, so this is the Lexar uh, UHS-2. And uh, basically it's supposed to be super fast. So if you can see up on the top corner right here, it says 250 megabytes per second uh, transfer speed. Uh, and usually that's like the read speed that, that they're, that they're uh, quoting, but like write speed is, uh, is not on this right now. And then I want to compare it with the Sandus Extreme Pro, which uh, state on the card right here that it can do 170 uh, read speed. And so I just want to compare the two because this is supposed to be the, the more, uh, the faster card, I would say. Okay. And so, yeah, I want to test these two and uh, let's see which one's fast. What I'm using to test is this uh, UHS-2 card reader right here. There we go. You can see that. Yeah, this is a UHS-2 card reader specifically made so that you can read faster cards. And so uh, it's by Prograde, by the way, if you don't know what that is. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it in. So. I'm going to go ahead and use the Lexar card. This is the UHS-2 cards. All right. And then let's go ahead and transfer a file. So the file that I have on here is a one gig file. And then um, we're going to go ahead and transfer this file into this card so that you can see how fast this is. But instead of uh, using, you know, some super high tech tool, <laughs> I'm going to use my timer on my phone here so you can kind of see that. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I want to start the timer. One, two, three. Drop. And then as soon as that thing gets done, I'm going to hit stop. So right now, UHS-2 is going at uh, 10 seconds. Yeah, it's about 10 seconds, almost 11 seconds right there. So now we're going to test out the SanDisk Extreme Pro card, which is this little thing right here. Uh, I have been very happy with this thing. I've been using it on everything. I even bought, bought, bought the uh, micro SD versions of it, and it's been incredible. So realize that um, this Extreme Pro card does not, it's not a UHS-2 per se, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. Um, we'll go ahead and delete that old file there. And then I'm going to drag this thing in here. Once again, remember the uh, Lexar one was about 11 seconds, okay? Go ahead and reset that. And then, as soon as I drop this in here, I'm going to hit start. One, two, three, start. And then I'm looking at this right here. Once it's done, I'm just going to hit stop. So right now, um, basically, it's about nine seconds for the Extreme Pro card. Now, remember, Extreme Pro card um, is not UHS-2 rated. And it also said that it, it reads at 170. So probably the write speed is going to be slower. Um, this Lexar says it's 250 on the corner right here. All right. So um, that's my little test right there. Once again, this card reader is made so that it can read UHS-2 stuff. So there you go. That's my little test right there. Nine seconds for Extreme Pro cards and about 11 seconds, two seconds longer on the actual UHS-2 card that claims it's 250 megabyte. And there you go, guys. That's it for me. I'm out of here.